and well no i just saw him throw that sock in the background barney come here out it's too small for you you'll swallow it come here come here out oi <laughs> you're so naughty out thank you thank you yeah that's not for doggies is it that's not for doggies he's on his back Hello guys, good morning. It is Sunday for me today. I am, well, I thought I'd pick up the camera because we're just having a cozy Sunday at home. We're just chilling today. And some of my favorite vlogs to watch are just the lounging around the house, cozy, aesthetic, autumnal vlogs. So that is what I thought I would do. I thought I would pick up the camera. I've got a couple of housey updates, nothing too drastic, but I'll show you where we're at with the house. Um, I need to do a bit of shopping actually for that front room to start standing up. So I'll talk you through my ideas of what I've got for that. Um, we're gonna go for a nice walk this morning. Tom's just in the shower. He's nearly ready and then we'll head off. We'll probably get some pastries as well for breakfast. I've got some fashion bits to share with you. Some new in from a brand that I've never shopped before. So stay tuned for that. Tom's gonna cook some lamb this afternoon. So I'll show you what he makes. I also have a bit of housework to do. But apart from that, we're just having a chill day at home. It's like it's my tail. What are you so happy for? Is it because we're about to go? Oh, it's because the sock is right by your nose. That's why, you little naughty. Apart from that, we're just gonna have a chill day at home. Hope you guys enjoy. Do subscribe if you haven't already and if you enjoy my videos. If you do give them a thumbs up, it means that the world it really helps with the algorithms of my channel. So yes, thank you so, so much to each and every one of you for every comment, like, support, follow, whatever. It means the world. So I think without further ado, we should get on the road and go for a nice lovely walk. Oh, bless you. Oh, is that a big sneeze? Look at these paws. Look at these paws and these gills. You know the gills get the gills. They do. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's just too cute. Oh, you got an itchy ear. The noises he makes as well. There you go. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city life. Hey, darling. We could get out of the beautiful world around won't see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little road and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave. I feel like it's kind of getting a bit darker. Even though it's sunny, it's just. It's just that winter vibe, isn't it? Anyway, we're back home now after a lovely walk. I'm just popping on my ring light for a bit because I have some clothes bits to share with you. So I thought I would try them on with you, chat you through the fit and everything and do it with my ring light on. So here we go. So I have some fashion new in items that I have to share with you from a brand called Goelia who are very kind of sponsoring this part of today's video. I was able to make some selections myself from the website but I also have one wild card option in there which they actually picked out for me. Before I say any more, I will say that I do have a discount code with them which is Freya25. I will leave it linked in the description box along with any other information linked to the website. But essentially, Goelia is an online website which sells an array of different clothing items, fashion items that they really aim to 
hit that market of um, high fashion but also high quality at affordable prices that kind of link fashion and travel together. Honestly, they have some beautiful pieces on their website. So I would highly encourage that you grab a cuppa, have an hour or two browsing on their website to have a look at some of the other items that they have. But these are some of my favorites. So I'm gonna try them on and share them with you. This is, I would say, out of my comfort zone, but pleasantly surprised. This item is the one that they've sent me. It's a bit of a wild card. I wouldn't have probably chosen this, which is quite a nice idea because now that I've got it and I've got it to try on, and I really like it. And I also like the versatility of the fact that it's like a three piece that I'm, yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I feel like it suits me, does it? Let me know what you think. But essentially, this set comes with this kind of like ribbed, I'll show you a bit closer up. It's like a ribbed high neck top, which is kind of like, it's got like an asymmetric design on the bottom, which obviously you could easily just wear this in autumn and winter with some jeans you could tuck it in you could wear it with leggings and then it also has this belt which i know on their website they styled out over the top of the jumper like so but also you could wear it underneath and wear it just with the skirt maybe even just wear the skirt with like a basic white tee this belt another belt no belt and maybe some flat sandals in spring summertime as well or even winter boots and tights cozy roll neck jumper on top so i feel like even though it's one set you do get quite a few options with this set this is in a uk 12. i am really happy with both of these now this striped cardigan is definitely something that i was after injecting some stripes within my autumn winter wardrobe and i think that striped cardigans are like i should see them everywhere obviously we can see stripes 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 um this one of the options that i've gone for from goelia this one i would say is slightly more casual it's a really nice kind of super soft knit it's got the buttons which are a little more glam because they've got that shine to them as for these trousers these are i would say more of a true well, I say a true white, they do have a warm cream tone to them. Obviously, when you compare it to the cardigan, they are much lighter and brighter, and I feel like they work quite nice together, but I would also wear these trousers because they're a bit more lightweight throughout spring and summer as well. The trousers are a really good length on me. I'm five foot six for reference, and both of these I got in a size UK 12. It was not that long ago within a wish list kind of autumn fashion wish list video that I had mentioned that I was after a cardigan just like this one. So I was so happy to receive this and enjoy the fit style and everything. It's essentially one of these smarter buttoned knit cardigan. Again, you can dress up, dress down. I do feel like these look nicer as a little dressier option. Just paired with simple white trousers like so it's got the stripe detail in like a cream and black this one and the hardware is all gold which for me personally I do tend to wear gold jewelry um so yeah really happy with this one and the fit is just that slightly more cropped boxier fit that you can get away with um obviously wearing this sort of a length of the jacket open closed with jeans Again, the versatility is great with this one and it's definitely something a little bit different for me. It is in a UK 12, this one. So this top is a bit of an illusion top. It's a bit of a, looks like you've got a jumper thrown over your shoulder with the sleeves over like a thin, lightweight knit stripe jumper. But actually it does come as a set, but this is just a single, it's like a fake jumper almost. Well, it is, it's a fake jumper is what i'm just trying to say um but it kind of gives that preppy style again with the stripes and um i would say yeah i was, I was gonna say it's navy but it's not it's black this one both the stripes and this kind of like throw over and um, it's not attached so you can remove it and just simply have the stripe jumper and wear that alone. This one is in a UK 12. I feel like this cardigan is giving a very much high fashion. It's like a wool kind of material, so quite thick and cozy and warm. So good for this time of the year for sure. It's also got some added details on the sort of shoulders, pocket details. The buttons are kind of like 
pearl and gold type finish to them nice and high neck but obviously you could wear it open with jeans more casually with a little vest top underneath paired with these trousers which are also goelia i probably wouldn't wear these together necessarily i mean they look okay together but i actually like the mismatch of tone so i probably would wear a dark color bottom with this cardigan like i say even just like blue denim jeans and then these bottoms are very I would say smart casual they're kind of like a cord material so quite super soft to touch and comfy as well they're really high waisted drawstring waist the top i got in a uk 12 and these trousers i got in a uk 10. i am loving this cape it's like a tweed fabric very kind of equestrian feel to this one this one does come with matching shorts i personally didn't get them but they just come below the cape i quite liked that they paired it online with like a high neck so you could just see above the top of the cape and obviously the sleeves like a high neck kind of cashmere jumper in the same sort of color and wear it throughout winter as like a nice outer layer the belt that comes with it as well, you can also just take that off if you didn't want a belt or wanted to pay your own belt with it. And also the cape is detachable if you did just want to wear the item as like a vest. Again, I think with like a nice um, long sleeve cashmere jumper underneath would look really nice. But yeah, I'm loving it. I do feel like it's different for me. I feel like this it's pushing out my comfort zone, but I love that kind of equestrian look. So I've just paired it with leggings and some kind of like black riding style boots. I have to say of all of the items, I think this one is my favorite. It's a beautiful tweed blazer, very equestrian style. It's got the tortoiseshell type buttons, the kind of uh, leather look panel here. And it's simply a single breasted. It's slightly tailored as well. Um, yeah, jacket, blazer. Looks quite smart, I feel. It's slightly longer on the back, which I really appreciate, especially as how I would wear it like so with leggings and boots. It's nicer to just have that slightly longer line at the back. I would say it's size up in this one. This one for me is a 12. It's such a beautiful sweet fabric. It's just gorgeous. This kind of country style living in nature, autumn walks, winter walks. Perfect. The perfect blazer that you could literally throw on like this, go for a nice countryside leafy walk with your boots on but then go to the pub for lunch afterwards or even if you're going to somewhere like say for instance Chatsworth House near us it's such a beautiful walk beautiful building and grounds that you can kind of wear something a bit dressier rather than your everyday dog walking attire so there we have it that is all of my items new in from Gorelia that I wanted to share with you and of course don't forget to use that discount code if you wanted to check it out yourself Freya25 will get you money off. You can save and shop today via the link in my description box. Thank you to them for very kindly working with me on today's video. I can now hear downstairs Tom is cooking up a storm and he's just shouted, do you want any vlogging clips? <laughs> So I'm going to go down and see what stage he is at, where he is, what he's even doing. I don't even know what we're having tonight. Just lamb is all I know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go see what he's doing. I also need to get some washing on. And let's just crack on with the rest of the day, shall we? How are we getting on? There's not much to vlog. Oh, it's in the oven already. We have the lamb on the go. Oh, you've got something on your eye. Onion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Need to go to Sainsbury's. Yeah. I might come with you. Take the dog. We can have a browse around John Lewis. Yeah. What else? Can we have? Carrots, parsnips. Yeah, I need to get all that. Hi, bye. I was thinking a little bit more Greek than we have in Everyone Greek? Like Did you say? Pressure. It's a bit hot. Oh, yeah, but it's a Sunday. Oh, yeah, it's Sunday rock. It's hot like this time. It's hardly hot, though. Come on, here. It's still warm for October. I feel like we've had a really warm month. We've pretty much had these doors open the whole time, haven't we? Which Barney's been loving. We're gonna get one more grass cut in today, I reckon. Are you? Or are we going to the sh I was gonna say, yeah, should we go to the shop first? It's Barney's paddling pool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bye until next year. Oh, in fact, I did have a delivery. 
a very exciting Christmassy delivery, which I thought I would just briefly show you because hopefully you can still get your hands on it and they are still for sale. Advent calendars, it's the season for Advent. And Rituals have sent me this, the Ritual of Advent Countdown to Christmas, 24 bestsellers. I'm trying to sneak out of the sunlight, but it's just coming through the shutters beautifully. Anyway, um, the Rituals Advent Calendar. I feel like Advent season with the beauty industry just starts so early, doesn't it? I feel like most of them you can buy from sort of September onwards because they do tend to sell out. Oh, look at this. You can create a little roof. Oh my God, the whole box smells amazing. Last time I went to Sainsbury's, since I'm going to go with Tom now, they had all their Christmas stuff out. I can't remember if I vlogged it or not. I don't think I did. I think I just showed you on my Instagram stories. So I'll maybe show you if they've got any more new in bits. So this is my advent calendar, my Christmas advent calendar for 2023. I feel like it would be rude of me not to just do a little sneak peek. So spoiler alert, if anyone wants to get their hands on this and doesn't want to see what's inside, I think I'm gonna open two boxes. We'll go with 22. I always like the number 22. Two twos, and then eight is another number I like, so we'll go with that. Ooh, I love this scent. This is the Ritual of Ying. This is their soothing body cream. Should we go in with number eight? A favorite number of mine. This one is, oh, I've not tried this before. Wow, I didn't even know they did have masks. But this is the, oh, okay, on the actual box, it has a little blurb as to what the product is. Oh, holy miracle, repair your hair while you daydream of Christmas miracles with our Keratin Recovery Hair Mask. The Elixir Collection Miracle Keratin Recovery Hair Mask. And I feel like that is a perfect size to give it a good test. I would use that entire tube on my hair. Do we use it before? Yeah. Apply to wet hair from roots to ends, leave in for five minutes, then rinse thoroughly. Let <sighs> me open one more. I can't resist. This is naughty, isn't it? Should we go in with 17? I feel like that's another number that I'm drawn to. Oh, it's a little candle. I love their home fragrance. This is the little votive candle called the Smooth Violet Scented Candle. The third Sunday, warm your heart and soul with the fragrant notes of violet and sandalwood by lighting this candle on the third Sunday of December, apparently. So I'm guessing that's Oh, it smells so good. I'm guessing that's the 17th. It'll be the third Sunday of December. But anyway, I'm not going to open any more and I'm actually going to save that for Christmas. Are you ready to go? Just vlogging in our new front room that we need to... Um, when he falls off there. Oh, it's alright. He's committed. <laughs> Just wait to see if you're muddy or not. Are you a muddy doggy? Are you a mucky pup? Are you a lucky bub? I think you are right. Oh, you're drooling. Oh, lovely. Oh. Yeah, we'll go. Right, I think we'll leave you here for a minute, Barney Boo. We won't be long. Friends will come, friends will go. They all seem to change while I'm still the same. Cause I just can't let go. And there's no one to play It's just the way it is Like stone Emotionless in this world of stories oh. Like stone I do feel like they're probably a bit late to the game, but they've got some lovely uh, like autumn bits in. The ceramic pumpkins at the bottom from five pounds. That little pumpkin sign, it's also five pounds. I love that little felt pumpkin garland as well at 10. This is a really nice kind of anthropology dupe at five pounds. And then I love the color of that one. It just says, hello autumn. The reel that I did show of these kind of like new in bits, I did say spot the spelling mistake and if for those of you that saw it it's this pumpkin reef diffuser rather than reed diffuser pretty sure f and d 
on a keyboard are right next to each other as well but regardless an actual ceramic pumpkin diffuser with black sticks I thought was really nice and that's only six pounds got a couple of candles as well really nice leaf string lights they've also got like a garland and wreath up there as well quite like these for Halloween as well these little felt tree characters that little pumpkin's cute ghosts and then they've got the paper wall bats which I feel like everyone's doing although there's not that many in that one a little belt um belt but a felt garland as well a couple of other halloweeny bits but yeah i feel like they didn't get out their kind of autumn stuff until the halloween stuff came out so i feel like this could have been out a little bit earlier but never mind they've got all the um christmas stuff out already which i have to say loving i think it's really really nice all their christmas stuff We always get Barney to bring something in from the car. What is it today? Carrots, good boy. <laughs> Sweet spear carrots. What, they're just longer? Just a bit different, different variety. Lamb's looking good already. Onions in there. Get the doors open, I reckon. Could do with some kind of like pot or something to be able to put, to prop those doors open so that we're not just using bricks. Huh? That's what I just said. <laughs> Literally word for word, we could do with something instead of using bricks. So yeah, little pots or something there, there, and then obviously two more. So you, we would literally just have maybe something there. I'd quite like, like an olive tree or something, the smaller one here in the middle though don't really want two and we'll need two things to prop the door open so maybe like one tree with two little pots either side that we could use the pots for to prop open and then one more over there anyway I actually got a couple of fun finds I could do with a coffee I reckon we've not had one yet today or have you oh, of course you have we're gonna have some bacon sandwiches where's the what where the bin bags are you've, just, you've got them in your hand it's like you say, where's the whatever without even looking yet. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here because he's busy doing his thing. We're gonna have some bacon sandwiches for lunch. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. In the meantime, I'll just show you these couple of fun seasonal foodie bits that Sainsbury's are doing. Also Cox and Cox through the mail. I can't believe it, but they reached out to me after posting about the dining chairs that we've got from them and tagging them asking if I want to pick some stuff from the Christmas range. There is one tree in particular that hopefully, well I said, I, I sent them a list of a couple of things, so what they'll send me I don't know, but this tree, let me see if I can see it, they've got some gorgeous things, like really really nice, even like wrapping, baubles, I didn't realise they had such a huge Christmas selection, okay you ready? Look at these trees. Oh, I just love them. They're actually classed as indoor outdoor trees. So yeah, I think you can use them outdoor as well. Pre-lit as well. And they're quite sparse, like there's not much to them. So that for me is like in addition to a Christmas tree or two, because I'm thinking Balsam Hill one here in the bay window. A real one if we get round to it in the kitchen would be lovely, but because it's real, you can't buy that until like sort of first week, second week of December. And one of these somewhere, probably in that corner there. I feel like it'd be quite nice in this room. Um, or we could have it in the kitchen area until the real tree arrives. But yeah, excited for that to arrive hopefully soon. Of course, when it does, I'll show you. For now, a couple of Sainsbury's festive finds. They've got the new Starbucks Chris well I say Christmas blend the ones in the red packets used to be Christmas blend I'm sure but this one's actually toffee nut flavor which I think I will like even though I don't do caffeine I think when it's the sweeter ones they seem to not be I don't know as strong or just have like one in the morning and that's that um this festive cereal I thought sounded good caramelized biscuit flavored squares so it's like crave biscuit cereal with chocolate in the middle, but caramelized biscuit flavor. So I thought they would be yum. 
for the milk chocolate flavor center yeah delish and then a couple of savory snacks just you know pre-testing before we've got people over for christmas hello um so that we can check which ones we like most or i mean these are good enough until after christmas anyway so if we don't get around to eating them when we're hosting for christmas we can um have them then brie and bubbly flavored and duck and spice plum i feel like i'll really like that one also just got some popcorn for tonight love popcorn on a sunday for movie night and then these again festive but sounded good for like with a coffee belgian chocolate shortbread stars finished with gold decoration and then another biscuit because i'm a biscuit fiend absolutely love them spiced honey shortbread baked with spice mixed spices and yeah again these are all good until like until like march next year so even if we save it for when we're actually hosting at christmas slowly but surely getting a stockpile of yummy treats these ones as well again picky bits for i feel like christmas is the time for picky bits isn't it picky season christmas eve and boxing day picky food favorite kind of food um salted caramel nut mix so they, these nuts nut mixes with maple syrup and honey um but yeah delish so that's my little array of sainsbury's stuff i can't remember if i showed you or not the christmas bits that i got from sainsbury's i think i did i think i've already shown you them in a christmas haul so i didn't buy any more today there were a couple of new things out but mostly it was stuff that i've already shown you anyway yeah, I think I, yeah, I have because I've already put them back downstairs. The painter working on the staircase currently, so he's just kind of like chipped away all of the paint and everything on this run, which we're going to fill and paint white. And then we've decided for the staircase, we're going to keep it nice and bright and white, but we're going to do the handrails and the posts in black. So yeah, he's just at the stage of obviously sanding it all back and getting it prepped and ready as best as he can. We appreciate it's not gonna be perfect because this obviously is the original staircase, but I really wanted to keep as much original as I can. And considering this house, we pretty much ripped out everything and had to go back to brick and start again. To be able to have this original banister was quite important to me. So yeah, he sanded back what he can, um, ready to fill and repaint and then there's a couple of other areas up here that within the corridor that he's also chipped away any kind of cracks, filled them so they're ready to be painted as well. There's another one here. We have a freshly cut lawn and Tom just cleaning off this patio, thankfully, because just we, we, we've agreed that I hoop it inside, he cleans outside, and I feel like, yeah, it needed a bit of a. I'm just looking at that wall as well. 
It's dirty quick. Anyway, we are just chilling, aren't we, Barney? I've just been um, prepping like for the week ahead. I always like to have a bit of a reset on Sunday just to see what there is in the upcoming week. Any like tasks that need doing, any, um, any like videos that need filming, meetings that I might have phone calls, things that I need to do, like admin stuff as well. I just like to have a bit of a Sunday list doing so that I wake up Monday feeling fresh. I always love a Monday. I always seem to have a really productive Monday. I think because I spend just an hour or so just prepping on a Sunday, it just really helps me know exactly what's what so I can have a good sleep on Sunday night, knowing that it's all pen on paper. And then Monday, I like to get up fresh and nice and early. I'm always like raring to go. We always seem to have a really long dog walk on a Monday morning as well. And and then I just crack on with the day. Or I say long dog walk. Sometimes I'll even like go for a run or do a bit more exercise. It's just a really nice way to kickstart the week feeling fresh. Have a pint of water with my vitamins. In fact, I'll just show you um, the vitamins I take. I, you guys will probably know this already. I feel like I rave about them but these ones from my vitamins i've got like an array and i also still have my discount code i think you get like up to 55 percent off with the code freya but yeah otherwise we're just gonna chill i think for the rest of the afternoon i've also put on a movie a netflix movie before i go to sleep with nicole kidman i have seen it before but it's one of those movies that because of the twists and the turns my memory <laughs> can be shocking i can watch a movie which i suppose is kind of a bit of a blessing in disguise watch a movie know i liked it because of the twists and turns forget what happens in it and need to watch it again to remember what happens um but yeah anyway it's one of those movies i've only seen once so i couldn't quite remember what happened so i thought i'll just pop it on again I'm not sure tom will be interested in watching it so i thought whilst he's out in the garden doing his thing I can prep and plan for the week ahead whilst watching a movie and do my thing. However, with that being said, the lamb is almost done. I think we're gonna be eating in about half an hour or so. It's just cooking away nicely in the oven. I say roast dinner, it's not a roast dinner. Tom keeps telling me it's not a roast dinner. It's basically a roast dinner. We're having um, carrots. It's not a roast dinner because there's no Yorkshire. So there is no, it's not a roast dinner. But we've got like lamb, um, mint jelly to go with it, carrots, asparagus, and then I think, oh, like mushrooms. Tom's gonna do like an aubergine and fig side salad type thing. I just count my blessings every day that he loves his cooking because I just get to enjoy it. But anyway, we're just gonna chill for a little bit longer. I feel like I might light this candle actually. This one is almost done. So I feel like after today, once this has burnt out, we'll be able to get out a fresh new candle. Which one of my favorite things to do, isn't it, Barney? To get a fresh new candle out. I do quite often show me using this matches pot in my videos when I light that candle. But, um, and yeah, people ask where it's from. It was from a little like maker's market. Are you coming up? Let me just get the blanket there so you can come up with me. Good boy. Yeah, this front. Why have you found one spot without a thrill on it? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's from a little maker's market. Thank you. That's nice. Kisses for mommy. Um, in West Didsbury, so if you are local to Manchester, I don't know if they do the maker's markets all year round, but I think, at least throughout the summer anyway, it's the, I think it's the third Sunday or third Saturday even, check it, <laughs> of the month. But they do the maker's markets in Manchester as well and other places, but the West Disbury one is the one I got that one from. Um, and I can't remember the name of the stall. Not like it's um, you know got branding on it or anything. However, because I quite often get asked where it is from, I've noticed there's quite a few on Etsy that are very similar, so maybe check out Etsy. But it's quite handy to have a little matches pot on the side ready to go. I think the next candle that I'm gonna burn after that one is my new neon one that I got from um, like a PR package in the new scent that they've done Hibernate. Cozy, right? Oh, he's, 
He's asleep. I'm gonna watch the rest of this movie now. Chill out, have our roast dinner, and have a lovely Sunday afternoon and evening. Aren't we, Barney? This is what Sundays are for. Puppy cuddles on the sofa, lamb roast in the oven, and chocolates in the cupboard ready for dessert tonight. Hey, chocolates in the cupboard, but not for you. Just jumping in here as a reminder before closing out today's video that if you wanted to get your hands on any of the items that I featured at the start of this video from Goelia or of course browse anything else that they have on their website I have left a link for you in the description box. Thanks to them for kindly working with me on today's video. I also have that discount code for you guys, Freya25. For money off, be sure to use it, take advantage. Happy shopping, and I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, it would mean the world if you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.